esports are a growing billion dollar industry worldwide, drawing players and viewers into competitive video games. Next month, a West Michigan college will debut the first arena built specifically for esports in the entire state. 13 Your Sides' Nate Belt got a look inside today. John O'Eaton helped form Ferris State's esports club in 2017. We had seven students. I was the eighth student to join. In 2020, it became a varsity sport, and the team is now up to 80 students. Until now. Everybody's playing from their own dorms. Uh, we had no space on campus to kind of utilize. It was always jumbled. But next month, that ends when the school's new Center for Virtual Learning opens. The team will move into the first arena built specifically for esports in the state. We're not renovating an old theater. We're not renovating an old classroom. This building was built from the ground up with this esports arena in mind. The space will allow for better broadcasting of their events, and the school plans to host competitions at the collegiate and high school level. Around 50 seats directly inside the arena will bring spectators to Ferris Esports events for the first time. On top of the seats inside the arena as well, this area outside of the glass will be filled with areas for spectators to watch in as well. When I played on stage as a player, uh, the crowd was chanting. It was like super electric, right? I want to give that opportunity to the students as they play here as well. The space has already helped with recruiting, drawing freshman Liam Joyner to the program. It was kind of a selling point for me. Senior Autumn Peoples has been on the team since its early days. When I first joined the team, I was playing on a laptop with a PlayStation controller. And is excited for the opportunities the arena provides both in and out of the esports community. I'm a healthcare major, so this is like the only time I get to see people who have a similar interest as me. The ribbon cutting for the building itself and the arena inside is set for August 31st. Reporting in Big Rapids, Nate Belt, 13 on your side.